Yo, what is good everybody? Welcome to the channel. It is T-Ultra here and this is another career highlights squad builder. 2K has not been dropping a lot of career highlights cards lately, but they did just put out this locker code for a free career highlights pink diamond card. So the only one that we need is Magic Johnson. So we are hoping to land in the yellow. We hit the wheel once. And look at that, we got Magic Johnson, let's go. Like I said, that is the only one of those four cards that we did not have, and we were in desperate need of a bigger point guard, so I will gladly take that. Welcome to the video, guys. This is T-Ultra here, and like I said, in this video, we are going to be adding to our squad with these career highlights players. This is the second installment, and likely the final installment, unless we see more of these cards in the career highlights squad builder series. But since our last video, we added a few cards. So we're just going to go check out our lineup here now. This is what our lineup was looking like as of last time. And you can definitely see we do have some glaring deficiencies. We have some pretty small point guards and we only have one center. We still only do have one center, unfortunately, but we did get that pink diamond Magic Johnson from that locker code for free. So there he is. And we have a few more Lakers to add to our team, actually. I have a gameplay video with this dynamic duo, but we are going to be adding uh, Derek Fisher and... Uh, not that Derek Fisher, where is he? Robert Ori and Derek Fisher. There, there's Derek Fisher, and then we'll go ahead and add Robert Ori. So we have 13 of these career highlights players now, which is pretty cool because that makes an entire lineup. I wish we were able to get Hayes as a big man. That would have been super cool. But um, unfortunately, we did not. So we're just going to have to rock with Andrew Bogut as our only big man again. So now we're going to go from here. So right out of the gate, I'm starting Magic. Uh, I'll just take a quick look at him here. You know Magic. He has good size. What are his badges looking like? He has floor general, quick draw, quick first step. I'm guessing he doesn't have like range or anything like that. He has gold clamps. Okay. Not Hall of Fame. I wish it was Hall of Fame. Yeah, I'm not seeing range extender or anything like that. He did, a, he did have quick draw though, which is pretty nice. Was it Hall of Fame quick draw, I think? Yeah, Hall of Fame quick draw, so that's pretty nice. What is his uh, three-point rating? 78. Okay, so nothing crazy, but we needed a new point guard. Like, it was getting rough having to run with uh, Earl Boykins on there on as the starting point guard. Actually, guys, we're going to switch this up. Magic Johnson is coming off of the bench. We're going to be starting Derek Fisher and Robert Ori at the four because, uh, yeah, we need a better power forward. Um, Rick Fox still is going to be our backup power forward because that's just kind of what we have to do because we don't really have anyone else to put there. But uh, a Robert Ori at the four, I like a lot better than Rick Fox. So we'll see how much Rick Fox actually plays as a power forward. All right, so I am liking this so far. Uh, we do actually not have a backup center, so we are going to have to put someone in there. So I think what we're going to do is this is going to be our starting five, obviously. And then these five right here, or sorry, these four are going to be coming off the bench. Magic Johnson is the backup point guard. Kobe's the backup two. Jordan as the backup three. And Rick Fox as the backup four. We're going to throw Chris Paul and Boykins in there just occasionally, just to get him some minutes. Same with Kevin Durant. And Ron Harper, I really hate this card. And because we do need a center, we're going to have to replace him. Um, I wish we had another center to put in there, but we don't. We just, it's just not going to happen. All right, so we do have that bronze center in there now. So we do have a backup center. And if you guys are wondering why I am starting Fisher over Magic Johnson, I don't know if I made it clear enough, but Derek Fisher and Ori are a dynamic duo. And I want them on the court at the same time. And I kind of wanted Robert Ori to start the game because I like him as a power forward instead of playing Rick Fox there. So I'm going to keep Ori in at the four for most of the game. And as long as he's on the floor, I do want Derek Fisher out there. But it is possible that Magic Johnson is just so much better than Derek Fisher that we just have to, you know, sacrifice the dynamic duo to have Magic on the floor. We will see how it goes. But with that being said, let's get into the game. All right, so this is our matchup. And thankfully, it is nothing crazy. This team is really not that good that we came up against. He does have Taco Fall, which even though that card isn't really that good, he is super tall. So Bogut might have a problem with that, but we will see. We do win the tip off right away. That is a good sign. We're going to give it over to Derek Fisher. He's popping the three and that one is off. There we go. Oh, get it. There we go. That's our ball. Good defense. We're running deep hash with T-Mac. He's going straight to the basket and he gets the amazing dunk to go. Over to Derek Fisher. Little hop step. Back out to T-Mac. 
spot up for the three, and that is green, baby. Let's go. T-Mac off to a great start here. Good defense by Andrew Boga, and he gets the rebound. Let's see. Can we give it to Derek Fisher? He stopped running for some reason. Oh, come on. Yo, space the floor. Come on, Andrew Bogut. Hit that mid-range, baby. Let's go. Showing off the jumper. Bruh. Oh, no. What are you doing? We were clamping that guy up that whole possession. Come on. He made all three of his free throws. You hate to see it. But, oh, he's playing off with Bogut. Okay. Smart play. Smart play. We're going to call for the screen. Hopefully, get Devin Booker an open look. That shot is up. It is wide open, and it is off. We get the rebound, though. Back out to T-Mac. Oh, no. I accidentally pressed the pass button. He took a little bit too long to make that pass out to McGrady. Let's see. Can we get by him? There we go. Give it to Bogut. Oh, geez. Put up the hook. Put up the hook. Put up the hook. I think we're going to get that to go. There we go. Woo. Can we get by Taco Fall? Here, restart. Restart. We're running out of time on the shot clock. Set the screen, please. Here. Here. Just put it up. Put it up. Oh, I thought he was going to get that to go. My opponent played some good defense right there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, that was actually a good contest, and he does miss it. D Yo, what are we doing? What are we doing? What was that pass? Imagine seeing that pass in the NBA. He's trying to pass it up the floor, and instead of passing it up there, he just passes it off of a defender who's literally right in front of him. That's insane. Man, having Andrew Bogut on the floor is not helping us at all right now. He's just playing off of him all game long. Here we go. Call for the screen. Give it to Bogut. Give it to Bogut. Can we get that to go? No, we cannot. Get that out of there. Good defense by Bogut. Up to Robert Ori. Who's open? Who's open? In the corner to T-Mac. Not quite the corner, but that was a two? Come on, man. Got to get behind that three-point line. He did green it, though, so I will take that. Come on. Help, 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 help. We're there, we're there, we're there. No way, no way, no way, no way! Good defense, T-Mac. There we go. Come on, get up the floor, get up the floor. Over to Robert Ori. Over to Booker. Is that another long two if it goes? I think it's another two. Yep. So two long twos in a row, but we get him to go, so... Can't really complain, but I wish those were three-pointers. This guy loves to run deep hash. We're there. No way. Thank you for not calling another foul on a three-point play on Devin Booker. That would have been tragic. Bogut, man, oh, that was good defense. That was good defense, but unfortunately, just was not enough. Hit him with that behind the back. Okay, back to Robert Ori for three. It's not a green, but it's still in. Let's go. That dynamic duo is showing up here. 2K, we're going to reward that. That's a shot that you want to go in. That's pretty strange to me, but whatever. It is what it is. We're going to live with it. Try to get a little open look with Derek Fisher going to the basket. Oh, I thought he was going to get that animation past Mo Bamba, but not any luck right there. Let's D up here for the last possession. Oh, no. We're going to get the last shot. Carme okay, bro, that pink diamond Carmelo is not that good. You got to stop giving him these baskets, bro. Like, what are we doing? Give it to T-Mac. Let's end off the quarter strong. Hit him with that behind the back. Nothing crazy. Send Booker on a backdoor cut. Get your revenge. There we go. Dunking all over Carmelo Anthony here. We got magic in the game. Let's see that defense, bro. Okay, a little... Not the fastest laterally, to be honest. And Matt, Russell Westbrook actually gets right by him right there, but it doesn't matter. We do get the steal. Oh, up to Kobe Bryant. Let's go. That's green, baby. Ooh, I love scoring with Kobe. All right, this Kobe Bryant card does not have clamps, so this might be tough. And that really had nothing to do with clamps. He just had a nice little step back right there. But let's see what Magic Johnson can do here. Look at that behind the back. Oh, we didn't get to see it very good right there. But, and, he, okay, he gets a jump ball. There we go. We do get the ball right back over to Kobe for the long two. And that one's good. Let's go. Come on, Magic. Come on, Bogut. Help out, help out, help out. Someone get out and guard Melo. That pink diamond Carmelo has been really annoying this game. Not sure why. It's really not that good of a card. But there we go. Come on, MJ. We're there. Good contest. That shot is off. Give it to Jordan. Give it to Jordan. Jordan to Kobe. Can it go in, please? Oh, man. That would have been cool. But two legends on the floor at the same time, and we still can't get it to go. You hate to see it. We're playing good defense here. We're locking up. We're locking up. Come on, Magic. Let's see it. Oh, no. Oh, no. What am I doing? I feel like that Magic card moves very kind of slow laterally. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just this game. Should we pop a three with Magic? 
His three-point rating is not that good, but hey, it doesn't matter. He gets it to go. We're not going to let this pink diamond mellow score on us again. No way. There we go. Good defense by Jordan. Up the floor. We're going for the dunk. We're going for the dunk. Oh, I was hoping he was going to get some sort of crazy animation, but we do draw the foul. He knocks them both down, and we are looking good so far here in this game. Let's play some defense on Russell Westbrook. There we go. Good D, good D. Oh, get back over there. Get back over there. Good, 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 good. Here, we got to defend this taco fall. Yep, that's going to be tough. That's a tough one. We're going to look at Magic's behind the back. Oh my goodness, that is so nice. His behind the back is amazing. Oh no. Oh no, pass it, pass it, pass it. Pass it, bro. Pass it. Please pass it, Andrew Bogut. He's going to get three. Ooh, that was going to get three seconds. We're going to send MJ on a cut. Oh no. Someone get open. Michael Jordan. Just pop it. Pop it. Pop it. Please go in. There we go. Whew, that was getting close. There we go. Good board. Up to Kobe. A little step back for three. Oh, that one's off. You can already tell because Magic Johnson has his hand up. Here. We, let's just post up uh, Russell Westbrook here. Should be able to get a nice hook shot. And he gets the easy hook. There we go. Good board by Andrew Bogut. We're going to give it to Rick Fox. Over to Magic. Back to Rick Fox. I probably should have just shot that. Doesn't matter though. We get the dunk. Good board by Kobe. Up to Magic Johnson. Back to MJ. Over to Kobe. Terrible pass. Do not know what kind of defense this is. And he gets the and one. Let's go. I think we got a rage quit. And yes, we do. There we go. Yo, that actually did not go that poorly. The first time we played a career highlights game, we ended up losing very narrowly. Look at all this. All my guys are out of contracts, almost all of them. But, um, you know, this lineup actually performed very well. Like, I wouldn't recommend using an entire lineup of career highlights players, but there are definitely some players on here that you can use. That Fisher-Ori dynamic duo is not bad. Derek Fisher is a little bit small, but other than that, it's pretty cool. And then like T-Mac and Magic Johnson. So these are like, you know, these aren't the best versions of those cards. You know, they got Galaxy Opals and all that stuff. But these cards, these players in the game are so good that their animations and everything translate to these cards that are not as, you know, high tiered as their Galaxy Opals. That they are still usable, even this Magic Johnson. His main flaw is that he can't shoot very well, but he was one of one from three. So he is capable of knocking down the occasional three. But at this stage of the game, it's hard to use someone without range extender, but he does still have that awesome behind the back. Magic Johnson also has that really good size. I mean, Devin Booker, you know, he's a Galaxy Opal. He's one of the not best Galaxy Opals, but he is a Galaxy Opal nonetheless. So he is somewhat usable, but you could probably do better than him. Bogut, I mean, he's solid, but he can't shoot the ball either. And, you know, people can just play off of him and... He doesn't really do anything amazing. He kind of went off in that first career highlights game that we played a while back, but that was kind of more fluky. This Kobe Bryant card is just kind of cool because it's Kobe, but he doesn't have clamps. But on offense, he's very good. MJ, you know, just another MJ card. Nothing special. Uh, Rick Fox, we didn't get to see very much. But he's better at the three, but I've had to play him at the four for these videos, so that's unfortunate. And we did not get to see Chris Paul, Earl Boykins, or KD in this game, but none of these cards are really cards that you're going to be using um, I mean, they're really not that good, and especially Earl Boykins, he's just so small that he's not usable. So yeah, that is going to do it for the video. I am not sure if 2K is going to be adding any more career highlights players to the game. Um, so this could be the last installment of this series, if you want to call it that. This will only be the second episode, but uh, it's been kind of fun to use these cards. We've seen some good, we've seen some bad, but overall, it is fun to like take the floor with some free cards that are somewhat usable like a free t-mac free magic free kobe free mj like that's always a cool thing to have on your team and to use thank you guys for watching the video make sure to like it if you enjoyed it subscribe if you want to see more and i'll see you guys later peace out